It's the most exciting thing in the heating industry. My name's Kay Norton. I'm one half of Indigo Renewable Energies. We're a Leicestershire-based contractor specialising in uh, installation of renewable energies, air source heat pumps, ground source heat pumps. I'm Christian from Indigo Renewables. I tend to be more office-based, uh, starting off with sales, getting in the quotes. I'll do the initial site visit to see the feasibility of whether they're air source or ground source or neither. Most houses you find now have got loft insulation as a minimum and if it's listed they'll probably have secondary glazing as a minimum so most properties are suitable for air source heat pumps it's just a case of um, is it economically viable. So I'll touch on uh, ground source heat pumps. You've got two different sorts of energy source. You've either got a borehole where we would drill down in the ground ordinarily to a minimum of about 100 metres. They tend to be quite a messy process. If you can imagine drilling 100 metres down into the earth, a lot of slurry and mess comes out that needs to be dealt with. The benefit to them is once that it's done, you can put anything over it, tarmac, car parking, whatever you need. The other option you've got is a horizontal ground array, which is only really feasible if you've got significant area to be able to install the ground array. Typically, you're talking around about 200 to 300 metres of linear pipe work per trench. So the difference in area that you require for borehole and ground hole uh, is significant. The other option is an air source heat pump, where the, where the energy is taken from the air. There are certain regulations of where you can and can't site them but overall they take up a lot less space. Obviously with the way things are going, air source will probably be the predominant way forward. We tend to find that most people's apprehension around uh, ground or air source is, am I going to be warm enough? Will I have enough hot water? Uh, what happens when it's minus seven outside? And really you just have to explain sized right, designed right and installed and commissioned correctly. An air or ground source heat pump will give you exactly the same comfort conditions in the home as any oil boiler, gas boiler, anything else. If I was to give some advice to someone wanting to get into the, this industry, the side of heating and plumbing, um, it would be to partner a good manufacturer, which hence such as Valent. I think the way that Valent have, have helped to support us is certainly with product. The more and more we came across heat pumps, we decided, knowing how good Valent were with their product previously, that they would be the one for us with air source heat pumps or ground source heat pumps as well. They kindly took us out to the facilities in Germany where we got to see the R&D stuff. And that, that sold me, honestly. I realised how serious they were about renewables. So it was that point we thought, yeah, this is where Valence go in and this is realistically where the UK heating industry is going to go. There's, there's nothing to be scared of with renewables. If you're a competent heating engineer, there is nothing different from fitting a, a heat pump properly to fitting a gas boiler properly. There are some things that you need to sort of look at slightly differently, but again, that's where your training and your knowledge comes in. It's the thing that uh, any new engineer coming into the industry should be interested in and get excited about. You've got heat pumps, you've got hydrogen technology, you've even got microwave technology out there. You've got to be interested, something's got to grab you. And um, renewables is what does it for us, you know. It's the most usable technology that's there for mass market currently.